Hello everyone, I've been playing around with the Chaos Wars for a bit now and I have really enjoyed their roster. But there is absolutely some standout units that I think is a step above the others and really makes the Chaos Dwarves shine. So let's just take a look at those units in no particular order and see why they are so good. So first we got the Blunderbusses and they are probably my favorite Chaos Dwarf unit and maybe even favorite handgun unit in general. And they're a Chaos Dwarf infantry unit with blunderbusses, obviously, and they kinda shoot like shotguns with multiple projectiles each volley, so they're not as accurate as normal handgun units at long range due to the spread, but the closer they are to the target, the more effective they get. But they also have a much higher damage potential if all projectiles hit, which means that they can absolutely annihilate large units since it's pretty easy for them to hit with all three projectiles, so all you need to do is stop the target from reaching the blunderbusses, which is easy enough with example Satan's net ability, or just tie them up with some infantry and let the blunderbusses fire at will. But the thing with the blunderbusses that really puts them over the edge is how good they are against infantry as well. Because even if they don't hit with all the projectiles, they still do really good damage and the shots just blast through the units which knocks them down so they kind of have a built-in suppression effect. And if you really want to melt infantry with them, you can kind of treat them like a wind spell. So line them up against the enemy infantry when they engage the front line and then just shoot down the line of the unit and they will just evaporate. And next up we got the Magma Cannon, which is a very efficient artillery unit that shoots balls of magma, and they're just really good at taking care of infantry, but can also deal some pretty good damage against cavalry. And their Magma Balls does great explosion damage that by itself can take big chunks of health off of infantry and tightly packed cavalry units. But then after the shot lands, it leaves a little pool of lava that deals damage over time, and it does surprisingly good damage. And if you can get a shot into a big blob of units and they don't die from the blast, they will just melt from the damage over time, and on top of all of that, they also cause the burn status effect, so everything they hit is way more likely to rot. So overall, it's just a very efficient artillery unit that over the course of a battle will be able to melt most of the enemy infantry. And speaking of artillery that leaves an after effect, I can't make a list like this without talking about probably the most iconic war machine of the Chaos Dwarfs, the Dreadquake Mortar. And it's a big chunking mortar that shoots just one mortar shell, but each of those shells hits like a mini nuclear explosion that will melt any unit that gets caught in the blast. And anything that doesn't die somehow takes a bunch of damage over time in a large area from a localized earthquake caused by the explosion. It is a bit pricey however, but getting a good hit with the Dreadquake Mortar is one of the most satisfying things in this game. And I think it might be usurping Queen Bess's spot of most fun artillery. So let's move on to some other close combat stuff. And the Bull Centaurs is another unit that is very iconic for the Chaos Dwarves and they're an extremely good cav unit. They're very versatile since they come with dual axes that just shreds infantry, great weapons for some really good anti-large and shielded variants for some extra defense but they still do really good damage so they work well as a very tanky generalist. And all of these variants works very well in their roles and can kinda counter anything. So if you're worried about monsters and cav, bring great weapons. If you need to take care of some infantry, bring dual axes. But the most powerful thing about them is that they give a dwarf-ish faction a strong cavalry unit that can be used for hammer and anvil or to kill enemy backline units, or just act as a sweeper unit to defend against enemy flanks. So they fill a very powerful role in the roster that their dwarf cousins could only dream of. And finally, let's talk about the Infernal Iron Swarm. Because I think these are one of the best elite infantry units to put in your front line in the game. Because not only are they one of, if not the tankiest infantry unit in the game, but they also have two volleys of hand grenades that deals really high explosive AP damage that can easily take off half the health of any elite infantry, even if they have heavy armor. And it also works pretty well against cavalry. So they can soften up or almost entirely delete incoming units, but then after they have used their grenades, they're still an unmovable wall when the enemy hits the front lines. So whether you want to deal damage or have an immovable object, these are your guys. But that's my list. What is your favorite units of the Chaos Dwarfs? Do you have the same or have you got a different list of units? But that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.